drew it for you. I I drew it. Oh, and no, I showed you with this, didn't I? Did I draw it and then I erased it? Anyways, um, okay. Well, it's it wouldn't hurt to talk about it again since so much time has elapsed. Uh, this is sine x. You know, its derivative is. You know, the derivative of sine x is uh, cos x, right? So it just follows the slope of the curve, right? This thing. And that is all well and good. And I think you understand that, right? It's just following that. If you if you make this um, this function uh, something different now, and you put a function inside there like two x, if I put a two inside with the x, what does it do to the what does it do to the graph of that function? Actually, I don't need that. I already did this. Um, what does it do to the graph of that function if I put a two or another number inside there with the x? How does it change it? Yeah, changes it like that, right? It's gonna it's gonna horizontally compress or expand the thing. So if we um, if we uh, let's get rid of that point for a second here and change this. So this is uh, I realize that that let's make it a two, okay? Make it a two there. Let's start this up here or wherever. Think about how the slope is changing now, right? You vertically you, or you horizontally compress that thing. How is the slope changing here? If we trace out the derivative now, oops. If you trace this derivative, trace graph of derivative. If you trace the derivative here, you notice how the thing is uh, is taller as well. It's more compressed, but it's also taller. Why is it taller as you as you make the thing? Why does it go up to 2 and down to negative 2 now? When you compress this thing, now I'm going to compress this. It's not going to change the, the tracing there. That's going to look a little crazy, but let's get rid of the tracing before we look at that. As I compress this thing, what's happening to the to the slope in the at the steepest part here, right here? What's happening to the st slope at the steepest part? It's way steeper there, it's steeper there, it's steeper there, which means the derivative has higher values, right? If this is a 1, okay, when it's just sine of x, when it's just sine of x, the slope through the middle here is 1. So when you, when you, sh when you look at the graph of the derivative, its value is 1 and negative 1 here. But as you increase this, People always have trouble and think, why does the graph, why does the graph of the derivative get taller? Like they understand why it gets compressed, right? So that, like, they're okay with why, um, they're okay with why the graph of the derivative or why the derivative of sine of two x is cos two x. They're okay with this part, but they always wonder why is the two there? Why does the two have to go out here? That's just visually showing you why the two has to be there. It's not just cos of two x; it's two cos. 2x. Be this is actually vertically expanding that graph. It's taller. It's compressed the same way this graph's compressed, but it's also taller at the same time, right? And if you look at it, you kind of see why. The slope here is uh, one. Um, the slope in the middle here is a lot more, right? So it has to be higher. The slope here is lower, right? It gets steeper as you when you compress that graph. It gets steeper, so the graph of the derivative has to be taller, right? Okay. Graph of sine is cos, but the graph of but the graph of uh, sine of two x is two sine two cos two x. The two in the front is because the you know it gets steeper there. Does that make any kind of sense to you? Hopefully, yes. Good.